A once perfectly good home now stands condemned in Sheridan, Wyoming after a 30 hour standoff following the murder of a Sheridan police officer. As that community comes together to help the unfortunate homeowner rebuild, a woman in western Montana reveals she was in a similar situation after police destroyed her former home near Houston, Texas, also during a deadly standoff. Tonight I learn how her case could lead the way for legal precedent. It's been a tough three years for Vicki Baker. Here I was um, just moving, you know, to a new state. In July of 2020, she settled into her western Montana home, moving all the way from Texas. But that's when the nightmare began. It was a horrific time of my life. It couldn't have been a worse time. Vicki's troubles started with the unimaginable when a fugitive broke into her McKinney, Texas home with a hostage. It all ended with the man eventually taking his own life, but she says police broke out windows, blew down her garage door, and threw tear gas canisters in to drive him out. Because it's called shock and awe to confuse the perpetrator so that he doesn't know which direction they are coming from. It's a familiar sight closer to us. Police in Sheridan using an excavator to flush out a fugitive who killed officer Nevada Krinky. And remember this, back in March, police used demolition tactics and a fire hose to remove Mary White Crane from her Billings Heights home after a shooting injured a Billings police officer. Turns out Vicki's home insurance didn't cover the damage. So when she turned to the city, she was told they have immunity. And they say, look, the police did everything right, so we're not on the hook. Over $70,000 in out-of-pocket repairs later, she was eventually able to sell that Texas home. But it's left lasting trauma. I know what it feels like to have your world destroyed. We don't want murderers running around. Uh, but it's not fair to have a random, unlucky individual like Vicki Baker uh, left holding the bag. Vicki's lawyer, Jeffrey Redfern, with the Institute for Justice, uh, like the says they took a different approach, arguing instead imminent domain. So we've argued that this is a taking, um, just like if the government used eminent domain to uh, take your house to build a road or a school. Uh, those are important things. They're good things. We like roads. We like schools. Uh, but we don't think that one random unlucky individual should have to bear that burden uh, for all of society. Vicki's case is currently in appeal, but it's something her lawyer believes will pique the interest of the U.S. Supreme Court. As it would turn out, Vicki says a person from Montana eventually purchased her Texas home. She says her community also stepped in to help, just like in Sheridan. Someone rebuilt her fence and Home Depot put in new windows.